Yeah. Welcome back to the Two Eights Podcast. Uh, what's up? It's Kamar. I you know what I'm saying. Buddy, you're weird. This is Lick. This is Lick and Mar. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hyper slam it. You know, we finna bring y'all something different this time, so we figured start y'all off differently. All right. Yeah, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Anyways, what's up, y'all? I think you're going to like it. Anyways. Uh, uh, you're yeah. not going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> No, you will like it, but if you don't yeah. like it, <laughs> take an eight. <laughs> <laughs> Only one though, because we're nice. You're right, uh, right. We're so relatively, but yeah. um, what's up, y'all? Well, we're here. Yeah, volume twenty-three. Dang, what are we titling this? Um, Electronic music, hyper electro, frick, hyper produce. <laughs> Jeez, hyper music, hyper produce trick. No. Oh, jeez. We'll, we'll figure out a name. Yeah, we'll Maybe come up time. with it. We'll we'll slap her on there. Right. Um, but, yeah, so this is... Um... <laughs> <laughs> this is, is going to be a fun one. Uh, but besides that, so we're going to detour a little bit from the... And not decap. Yeah. No. Yeah, no anyways. decapitation. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know what we're freaking yeah. saying. We're just sort of all over the place, but so wake up, uh, yeah, yeah, and, um, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna. Wow, this has been the worst intro, intro. ever. But listen, but that's what it's supposed to be. You know, let's try and make our intros worse. You know what I'm saying? I so, season. so yeah, what we're gonna do is over the next couple. Well, maybe not consecutively, but um, over the next uh, multiple weeks, we're going to do a podcast either consecutively or here and there of uh, just reviewing some some of our favorite music. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully get you guys turned on to maybe some people that you probably don't normally listen to. Right. And not saying that you don't, but a lot of the people that we tend to listen to are, you know, more so underground or... You know, they're just not, not to say they're not in the mainstream, but. Not in the spotlight. Right. And as far as those people who are in the spotlight that like request, you know, certain songs for us to review or, you know, stuff that even is in the spotlight and we know, you know, we're going to just sort of review over that because we're sort of anticipating that everybody Mm -hmm. has listened or, you know, most have listened to it rather than putting people on to that you know what i'm saying so right that's that's our plan to do these our hyper music uh, we got to come up with a name yeah we will we will but, probably uh, maybe by the end of this uh we'll have one we'll hopefully s- slap her on there like i said uh <laughs> so uh yeah so this this volume is going to be uh mainly uh well it's going to be all electronic um all produced uh, music. So everyone that we're going to go through uh, is either a producer or a duo. Some of them are duos. Um, right. So, and then some of them have you know vocalists or right. There are features. Features on we'll, there. We'll try and with. point those out as we go. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Without further ado, I guess let's get started. So, uh, first artist that we're going to cover is None probably other than yeah the goat that you don't even know. Probably not, but you will now. Mm-hmm. Evil Needle. So exactly how it sounds is how you spell it. Yeah, uh, we'll try and actually. Oh, we can put the just list the artists in the description. Actually, so check Man. out the description. We'll have all the artists in there. Uh, with the podcast, maybe some of the. You know, we'll, maybe we'll list a few songs, like from each one, because we have mm-hmm. a bunch from a lot of them. But yeah, so starting with Evil Needle, um, I guess we'll go with uh, sort of the song that that started it all. I think it deserves its own spot to be listened to, especially the first first song on this right. cast to sort of <laughs> right. So so this is the first song by him that that really. Uh, 
it had caught my ear and then I played it and it caught Kamari's ear and he was like, well, hold up. <laughs> the whole new world. It was like, geez. No, yeah, no, freaking, no Aladdin. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no Jasmine. Had a... So, A uh, yeah. New rail. <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> so, beginning of a whole new rail, here is the song Suave. Yeah, so the first time I heard that song, I should have brick. Um, oh, wait, <laughs> we were recording this all time? <laughs> just now. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that was Suave. Uh, that Jeez, just Throwback. honestly, sort of for me defines like what chill hop is. Mm-hmm. Honestly, just like electronic chill hop. Dang. But where it's still freaking, ba- yeah, in the hop. Right, it's got it's all the little bangs. nuances in it. You know, all the little pauses, just boom, right back in. (laughs) Melodic. Yeah. The melodies in it. The chords, just, yeah. Man, everything. Just a a, a, a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just real simple, too. Yeah, just like the name. Suave. Got to be suave to listen to it. Exactly. It's very smooth. I usually say suave. I think it's suave. Tomato, tomato. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Anyways, yeah, that's a, that was like the first song I remember hearing. I was like, bro, run it back. And I was like, run it back. Hold on, <laughs> run it back. And then that that was in the, like, no offense to Suave, but that was just a, a teaser. That was just the light work compared to, you know, what else you're going to hear from <laughs> Mr. E in himself. Yeah. So... Well, I guess we'll uh, want to double up the next two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, well, we'll play the next two. Uh, so the first one is going to be a newer song titled Fathom. Uh, and then jumping a couple uh, projects back will be a track titled Fresh. So, so we'll play those two. Fathom and then fresh. Yeah, go over those. Yeah. Fathom the freshness. Blech. Yeah, so, sheesh. <clears throat> so let's start with Fathom. Uh, that I might be one of the fathom. hardest. Yeah, that might be one of his hardest hitting songs. Just known, and that was the you know the massive drop. Needless right. to say, like the beginning was a the whole build different up, vibe. Yeah, so. the build up's very like spacious. It's very you know subtle. Everything is not as a lot of short eight oh eight hits right. with the, the kick, like mm-hmm. lots of kick in the beginning. So you have to listen to it for yourself to find that Definitely out. Definitely check that out. Cause um, it's in the but top yeah, five. Just, yeah, definitely. For needle, because 
I mean, when I, cause it was crazy because that song, I got sort of heard it at first and I was like, yeah, but then like listening to it over and over again, it's like, wait, hold on. This is sort of, I had that whole tape blasted in my car and just, it got to that song and it was like this long buildup, which you didn't even hear in that mm-hmm. sample, but there's this long buildup for that just with like string sounding synths. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like, mm-hmm. <gasps> boom. Mm-hmm. Like just this halftime, Jesus. Like, it, yeah, if you listen to that in your car and you have it cranked, you will vibrate. Yeah. So, and uh, just, yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> you won't be able to fathom it. And that's why he probably named that Fathom because Honestly, it's hard to fathom. He and he then, vibrate in, in his seat. Right. Like in the, in the studio, just. Wow, I can't even fathom this. Ding, 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 ding. Just. Full, oh, unleashed, man. but um, ah, which is next? Uh, I, wow, <laughs> nice. Anyways, oh my but God. yeah, so going back to the second one in that series, uh, was fresh. fresh. That's one of my personal favorites, yeah. Um, just one of his older ones that just just the groove with the hi hat and like the the kick and the snare, it's so <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah, it's just real it's pleasant, just, sort of. Right, but very it's still simple. Hits. Very <laughs> simple. It's got the space in there, the silence. I don't know. It's just a nice combo, and then it comes in with the melody. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, hmm, wow, this is nice, and it's a slapper. So it's like, yeah. Great. It's fresh, but uh, <laughs> it's for real. Yeah. So, um, next, let's see. Do we want to do the next two? What yeah, let's we? do the next two. Okay. So the next two are uh, unleashed, and then that's so that's again another one of his older ones, and then a newer one, which is one of Kamari's favorites, uh, Ohio. Oh yeah. Yeah, so, too. so Unleashed, um, it was hard to choose a section of that song, but that was sort of the Unleashed part, mm-hmm. where it goes crazy, almost like almost like, get like those rock guitar sounds in it a bit. Yeah. Um, but prior to that, like the intro to the song, it just has this nice, like, gritty synth mm-hmm. melody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just the slides and stuff that he does with it. Oh, it sounds so like nice. it sounds like that that song should be in a some sort of fighting movie. Like what's that freaking movie where Hugh Jackman is the Wolverine? No, no, no. Um, or is that is that Hugh Jackman the robot? He's fighting for the robot, like the robot. Skippy or Hoppy or oh, I know fuck? what you're talking about. Yeah. I can't. Chappy. 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 Yeah. Dang. It's been yes. a while since I've seen that, but yeah, I, I I know what you mean. It just sounds like something that would play for that freaking. Yeah, for movie. like a beat down. Yeah. Uh, just. <laughs> yeah. Just freaking murdered. And yeah, that's whenever I just hear like a fight, like just a boxing type of. Not music related thought, but yeah, I just that's the type For of sure. vibe I get. But, yeah, uh, real gritty. Yeah, if you feel like you're just ready to frick somebody up, but also, I don't know, somehow it's smooth at the same yeah. time. Where like, 
Right. Just the way it, the, the articulation of it, how it flows together. If you don't know what that means, I'm sorry, but I don't feel like explaining it. Right. But, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Ohio. Mm. Ohio is one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, it's just. What does it mean again? Didn't you look at the I meaning looked it up of it? just now just to make sure. Okay. And, um, Let's hear it. it. It's Japanese and it's good morning in Japanese. So. Once I found that out, because I think before I found that out, I was listening to it like every morning, mm. like for a good amount of time. But and you realized that I, made sense. Yeah, and I was like, "Wow!" The song was like, morning. "Hey, good morning, hey kid, what's All up?" Right. And I'm just like, <laughs> "But no, like just morning routine, you know, get up, oh hey yo." You know what I'm saying? Brush my teeth. Oh, hey, yo. Oh, hey, yo. Give me the shower. Oh, hey, yo. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was just such a good song. And um, I know it was on his top. Like, it was his number one for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, when that album came out. Yeah. Souvenirs 2. Mm-hmm. Plug, plug, plug. But yeah, just real simple, real easy, real chill. You know what I'm saying? Keeps yeah. you in a positive energy, you know? And that's why I like, sort of freak with it. So... Definitely. Yeah. All right. Well, let's hear the next two. Or no, the next one, uh, which is Dusk, another another mm-hmm. Kamari favorite. Mm-hmm. So let's get that one right now. So yeah, that was Dusk. That solo. Uh, featuring, well actually it was, uh, I guess the technique, yeah, featuring uh, Chromanichi. Um, mm-hmm. They actually, so Chromanichi and Needle have a joint tape coming out in like two weeks time. So go ahead and plug that. That yeah. should be very incredible. Fun. I remember him teasing that like a couple months ago. He was teasing just a collab with someone in general. Right. People were like, oh, my God, who's it going to be? Right. It could be crazy. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that should be interesting. They released a single, which is pretty good. It's nice and chill. Um, but, yeah, Dusk is not necessarily chill. It, <laughs> it's like it's it, chill, but then it, like, sort chill. of amps up. It goes pretty hard. <laughs> nah, like, from the beginning. Or if it's yeah, not in you think sample. it's about to be chill. Right. And then... It just hits right to the part which you hear, like yeah, and that sa- that solo just it's like he's just pressing random keys, but then it's like it's, it works though, yeah, and he's not. It's in there. Whoever played that, it's in there like swimwear, right? You know what I'm saying? From dusk till dawn, Christ. I know I had to do it. cringe, Mari. Gotta be cringe. Yeah, and with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the next two, yeah, we got four more from Needle. Yep, he's our favorite guy, so he's getting ten, the tenor. Uh, <laughs> Kenny, no son. No uh, son, no. Yeah, so the next one, next two are just, ooh. Yeah, you protect your ears because, wow, <laughs> they, they're coming for you. Uh, it's Samsara and Get There. It's about to get there and penetration, so... <laughs> You better, <laughs> yeah. Get, get your uh, penetration protection on. Both Sam and Sarah, both. Of yeah. Them. Christ, we really cringe. They're it about up. to. <laughs> they're about to get there. Right. <laughs> so here, 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 here they are. <laughs>
Oh my lord. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So yeah, Samsara might be my top. Samsara is <laughs> top for Samsara. me. Because yeah, I don't know. That song just hits it just the gets intro. You going. Yeah, didn't even get to hear all the intro, but yeah, go back and listen to that from the beginning. And just pow. the end is very nice too. Like the very, end is really nice. Very yeah. just he just soothing. knows how to write a song, man. Yeah, it just, he just knows all the right things to like get you going. But yeah, let's just touch on like like all the different hi hat rhythms. I mean, it, it stays consistent for a while, mm-hmm. but the the synth, like the gated wait, synth wait, rhythm. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just <sighs> screeching, but yeah. good. And screech. then on top of that, just the kick with 808. Jesus. Yeah. The, that part like just, just rattles that. you all do, the do, way. Do. Whoa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, mm. <laughs> yeah, again, with the pauses, like yeah, yeah. those intricate pauses just to br- right, cause I feel suck like, you right back in. Like, that's like, if you make music, that's just a hard thing to understand, like, no noise, just like somebody who talks a lot, like or tries to talk. It's right. just like you have to embrace the part. Right. There just is no music so without well. silence, right? And so and he, yeah, really takes that, but not not too much. It's like right. here's Real a break, slow. but it's so Whoa. rhythmic and at the right, it creates so much suspense, right? And it's just timed perfectly. So right. it's like it's it's just very and then, nuts. You know? And then uh, yeah, and then going on from from yeah. Samsara to get there. Get there. Jeez. And th- these are almost back to back on uh on Souvenirs 1. Yeah, it goes uh, get there, move and then Samsara. Yeah. So move is like a you know, he did a collab with someone on that. So, you know, it's it's a little bit more like groovy, you get into it, you know, mm-hmm. two different vibes in the song and then just right, right back, back to Samsara. But yeah, so get there again with the gated synth it might be the nastiest synth sound of all time. It's just the, mm, it's literally like trying to bite your ear off, but soothing. But yeah, or right, it's not too much. And then, yeah, still bearable. And then with all like the you know every like here and there the rhythms mm-hmm. with the kick yeah. and the hi hat like you just gotta get oh, there. Oh man, yeah, it does get there. <laughs> Get me off anyway. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! And uh, with that, uh, let's uh, light her up. up a little bit. Yeah, yeah let's light it up. Mm. Uh, so yeah, the next one is lighted up. Here she goes. All right, so yeah, wow. Mm. Hopefully you li- it lit it up. Yeah, hopefully it lit you up. Cause that's one of the more like get something to motivate you to do something with your freaking life, you know? Right. Just like, and that you know, life is good, you know. And, and she says light it up for you, but that's you saying it to right. yourself. You need to say like. Light it up for yourself. Right. Look for all the light in your life. Right. So, funny uh, backstory on this song. Um, I remember just one semester of college, I sort of played it randomly. Just It just so happened to be after, you know, like the the last day. This was at, I don't even know when it started, but I just heard it. After like the last day or that last class of that semester, and I told Alec I was like, "Listen to this song right when you're done," because I was done with classes before him, and ever since we sort of made it like a ritual to uh, light it up right after we're done with that. Right, that freaking <laughs> done with the semester. Right, yeah. so maybe 
Yeah, it's been a that's a nice that that one is a standalone just because that you know for sure. And I usually do that, and then I hit Sam Sir after because yeah. I have to. And it's like, <laughs> you know, there's some of them just are starting to become ritual. You know, yeah, like, for sure. <laughs> one of them is its own little special. Yeah, which but that greatest one is of special. all time. Yeah, that, that one's time. to come. So we, we but, have to save that one. Yeah, but light it so. up's definitely like in my top five just for that. You know, just and it, it hits hard. Like, don't she's Alicia Lee, the mm-hmm. feature. You know, she she has a nice voice. Killed the vocals, real, real simple, real, but right. It's it repeats itself, but that's good because it reinforces the idea of the song. Right. And then at the same time, just the. Like you said, the 808 going fucking crazy. In the back, you just... Like, it's, but then she's going in the, in the court. I like it, I like it, I like yeah. Like, uh, crazy yeah, articulation, like too. Right. So, yeah. look up that word if you haven't yet. What the frick are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm really, saying? Really, yeah. We're probably going to get used a lot. <laughs> right. So Music theory had that. Um, yeah. Anyways, yes. Real real simple, but then still hits hard. You know, yeah. concept minded. Keeps you going, keeps you running, you know. Um, mm. So, <laughs> no foreshadow, but uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 So let's hit the last needle song. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, it's called Phosphine. Sort mm. of a sleeper. Kamari mm. realized today, today that it was a sleeper. He was like, "Oh, so. yeah, I'm glad that you said that one." And yeah, I was like, "Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it might be on par or like better than it's Sam I think and it's Sarah. Just the synth." It's the sin, the, bro. The cuts just, the, just uh, So yeah. Anyways, uh, you about to hear it now. So uh, here, here it goes. terrible fucking singing um probably just ruin the dang clip for you but that's fine yeah that's phosphine jesus christ yeah Yeah, a lot of things to touch on uh the uh again just the synth so when we say a lot of you may not be familiar i'll explain this part so when we say like gated synth we're talking about you know you have this synth and it you know you have a chord and it's just playing it, but it's in, you know, these really eccentric rhythms. So that's where you get like the right when it drops, it's like like that's it's either achieved through like a gate, which is something that times, you know, when the sound cuts off, and then you can, you know, do it that way. You can make a bunch of tracks and Drax. Have them for different uh, lengths of notes, or it could just be that the synth is like really short, like that, and he Jeez. just has it like like laid out as individual notes, notes almost. <laughs> um, but then it drops into that next section where it becomes more chill. That is the actual definition of like a gated synth, mm. where it's just like da, 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 just real bouncy, mm, 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 you know, mm, mm, mm. with yeah. the rhythm. Or with the tempo, honestly, it's just going like. Um, but yeah, so that's a gated synth because I'm pretty sure there are more of them to come. But mm-hmm. yeah, that uh, sheesh, just combo the 808s, hats. and then yeah, the hats with the synth. The way that like the hats are the same rhythm as the synth. But it doesn't sound like they are. Like you can hear the hats clearly, mm-hmm. but yet it's going with the synth. So, right. That I feel that's hard to do because I've tried to do that before, even, and it it's hard to hear the hats. So whatever whatever he, happened there, jeez. He put on his thinking hat. <laughs> I don't even think he needed to think for that. 
Low key, <laughs> caught me thinking about it. Uh, anyways, right. <laughs> yeah, and then the the vocals in the back just really, yeah. just mm, yeah, delicious. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no other way to put it. Right. Uh, speaking of delicious, mm. uh, let's move on to our next artist. Uh, so, and these are in no specific order. I mean, Needle's definitely at the top, but the rest of these, I mean, I they like all the, have... Their own sound. That is yeah. Lit. yeah. Like, it's, shout out to everybody, you know, yeah. we're about to go through. So, but, uh, yeah, next is uh, a r- relatively new discovery, uh, at least for Kamari. I've listened to him for a little while, but not that long either. Uh, name is Sam Galatry. We brought I him up that's right. in the last volume. Yeah, I mentioned him but for sure. He definitely we can bring him back some, again. Yeah, some super hype. Just yeah. Dude's only well, he may not be twenty one now, but his bio says he's twenty one. So that's pretty that's pretty incredible. So definitely keep it going. Um Guess we'll start it off. We may have to take these one by one. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. So uh, the first one is going to be his top song right now. And it definitely is for a reason. Uh, it's called Long Distance. <laughs> She a thought to me, and me a thought to she But the day is coming that we must be personally She a thought to me, and me a thought to she But the day is coming that we must be personally She a thought to me, and me a thought to she But the day is coming that we must be personally But uh, yes, yeah, so that was long distance Sheesh, sheesh uh, Just first off, all the different sounds You know, using that like tribal uh, bum, like bum, vocal bum. sample, yeah, and then boy. just the horns, the, horns just... Uh, the twerk claps in there, just for they nice, you know, for the build up, and, and then, then a nice fat sound. clap sound, and then just the 808s and the slides, mm. boing, yeah, boom, just boom. sliding <laughs> just long oh distance, God. you know, yeah, the 808 just... slides a long distance, he is something else, legit, like, yeah. Low key, <laughs> just the song basically just, speaks for itself. Yeah, I, it's yeah, hard to say a lot about besides it. Besides stating plainly what's there, just amp, amp you up and just like, yeah. I'm about to <laughs> so go if you need something war. for a workout, Sam might be the one for you. Dee 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 dee. Um, but uh, if you want something to sleep to, uh, the <laughs> next song is called Dreamscapes. I don't know if you fall asleep to it, but. It's That's gonna put it's your called. fucking eardrums to sleep, cause Christ, it's gonna, it's gonna hit it's gonna you hard. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's Kamari's favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just how it, it drops out of nowhere, like his again, just like uh, and just long the, distance. Just those claps, just very. Yeah, yeah and you don't really pay attention to them, mm-hmm. but they're just there, mm-hmm. and like, like what yeah, it's freaking, all the stuff that you can pick apart. What from time his stuff. signatures? Are like what, what? Oh, like the claps. Or just the the song, you know. It's oh, like, it's just simple. It's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. But the claps are just. Da, 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 da. But yeah, the triplets are like the main, the okay, main like split. So that's what gives it like the the swing and like flowy yeah. feel, like. Yeah. Like a lot of his songs seem very polyrhythmic, but end up not being polyrhythmic just because it's yeah. 
It's just the way that he uses every sound. Right. It makes it seem like, super intricate. Well, you, you freaked so. me. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Classic. I heard so, that. And, hmm. Yeah. The next one, uh, this one is quite the interesting tune. Basically, three in one. Uh, you're only going to get a, a clip of about one, which is the last part. But if Definitely you want to hear all three, you got to listen through. Uh, this one is called Neptune. And it's I mean, just as out there as Neptune. Yeah, it's not even on this planet. <laughs> they don't even know what planet it may not even on. be on Neptune. They're on. This is where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So that's Neptune. Um, yeah, geez. there's not a lot to to say. It's just not you a whole lot. Take yeah, it. that that part is very full. You know, behind the beat, the beat just sort of comes in out of nowhere. It's like and kick. Here's a kick. Kick. <laughs> Starting the kick. beat. Kick here. Yeah, but just, uh, oh, yeah, 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 the craziest beat uh, is definitely the first one in that song. We're not even gonna spoil it. Yeah. Well, we can't really because we can, yeah. we're terrible at singing, but right. uh, we have so, no rhythm. Uh, yeah. We'll just put it out there. Pretty much. I don't even know how we made music at some point, so yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah, just reviewing it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, and on to the next. So the next is called Ceremony, and yeah, the the, the piece is, is quite the ceremony for... Mm-hmm. Bleeding of the ears in a good way. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, here it goes. Definitely didn't want it to end. So uh, yeah, it's another just <laughs> brain wiper. It just that wipes. was actually the first, the first song that we heard of his. Mm. I shazammed it in a store. Yeah, yeah, and I that. was just like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like, because it was just all smooth in the beginning. It was like, <laughs> and, it just goes and I was into like, it. okay, this is it's a nice synth sound. You know, it's coming in. We just vibing in the store, and then it's just like, like all this glitchy synth, and oh man, it really just takes your thought away. It's just it really does brain numbing really at does. this point. Yeah, that's how hard it hits. So. If you're not yeah. trying to think and just, anyways, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, ceremony. ceremony. <laughs> not much to say about that one. Again, speaks for its friggin' self. Uh, and now, uh, let's go on an odyssey. You, the crazy shit with his songs is like you hear something new every time you listen to it. I swear, and it, you have to listen on different things too. Like listen on a computer, you get the high frequencies. You're like, oh my god, what's that? And then you listen a car. You know, in a car, you and you just it. get like something that's really full that's in the background that you wouldn't have heard. But yeah, he's got like the chirping noises over the kicks at the end of each phrase. There, it really, just I, numbing your brain. Like, yeah. 
it's not really much. That point, yeah. If you listen to enough, geez, trying to analyze all of it. Yeah, it's I mean, like it's so complex to the point where you just don't even. You just, just have to enjoy it. it. Yeah. Even then, it's hard. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't it's make crazy sense, because but it makes for, sense. Us, for us, like when we think about it, like we have made music, right? So we know like the that amount of stuff that has works. to go in for it to sound like this. And it it's billions. But if you for haven't him. made music... You don't really it's understand hard that. to know, and yeah, really... and, which is almost nice in a way, but in some ways, I don't know. You, well, I guess not, you wouldn't know any better. It's not as much appreciation. You wouldn't know any better, right? So it wouldn't be like taking away really a but whole then lot. then it's like, but I couldn't go imagine sit on your computer and now. try to do that. Right. So, yeah. So there's a different appreciation for all of this, even you know, outside of the perspective that we're coming from. So if you don't make music and you think this is a bunch of jibber jabber, you know, coming about the songs, that's fine. Hopefully you just are listening to the clips and you're hearing something new that is interesting. Because, I mean, at least right now, uh, the reason that we started with electronic was because that's just what, what we've been on, or at least what I've been on. I know you want to be... More, More on yeah, just sort of, no no vocals or at least you know select right select music and you know I'm usually rap hip hop but mm-hmm. you know like I said or like you just said I'm trying to be more on that trying to expand the palette you know because yeah. I haven't really been on electronic as, as as much and even if I did it was more the mainstream right but just stuff like that really gets you outside your freaking really comfort especially when it's that good yeah and it's like (laughs) wow this is it you know what i'm saying like this is something totally different and it's like let's just keep exploring you know discover weekly and uh right but uh yeah just something the freaking you know something different something and that's why we're gonna sort of sort of make this a series because you know there's all types of genres and you know Mm -hmm. electronic was a more prominent one with alec and i so yeah Yeah. anyways not trying to sap but uh (laughs) yeah um yeah shout out to sam you know galatry i don't don't know if we're saying your your name right but shout out to you because you wouldn't have to say your name because it really speaks for itself in your music like play something crazy like that yeah that's sam right there so yep yep gotta be but uh all right i guess move on to the next i don't man we have a lot to go i'm telling you (laughs) uh i mean we could start grouping more yeah could maybe group so that maybe we're group this guys the next one coming up all all Uh three yeah we could do that just talk about him as a whole Yep. All right, so the next person is uh, Dylan Sitz. Uh, this is someone who I would say Kamara listens to a lot more than me. But you put um, me but on. Yeah, I did. I, I found him. Discover Weekly. Shout out to Spotify uh, <laughs> for putting me on to him. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, these will be the three songs, uh, Melatonin, Rover, and Villas. Mm-hmm. Or Villas. Vegas.
All right. So, yeah. yeah. Dylan Sitz, Mr. Sitz, you know, fairly simple. But very, you know, very. There's, there's a lot of nice in the simplicity. Because, but to put it in perspective, he does like he's putting out the music. So right. if you if you go check out his page, he's got quite the library and right. doesn't go back that far. You know, he he puts stuff out quite often. Right. So uh, in that in that case, like you can tell that there's not as much attention paid to each song, but at the same time. I mean, it's just a different way of going about it. Right. And then, like, I feel like his songs are more, you know, they want, like, it's more of a instrumental for rappers or, you know, Almost. that's why I sort of like it. Because, mm. you know, like, you hear it and you're like, hmm, I could, I could do something on that. Or, like, you know, and you just, or it's, it's like this weird, comfortable range where it's, you could rap on it or you could just sit back and vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? That's why True. I sort of like his, you know, like if you ride in the car listening to like villas or some vias whatever you know yeah. you, you just you playing that like maybe one day you feel like freaking rapping to it maybe one day you just feel like vibing to it and not rapping you know and that's i feel like it has that versatility so yeah that's where i sort of like then melatonin just that was the song alec introduced me to and i was like yeah, yeah that was like the first one that i had heard real simple but it's just just ba, ba, da, da. like some elevator mm -hmm. hotel type of yeah like, you know, i'm in the waiting room do, do. Yeah. and then uh and then rover rover just it's a hard hitter but yeah. still relatively you know you can do things with it so it's like definitely yeah yeah so shout out to to mr sits um he's yeah. the s words yeah dylan shit <laughs> dylan sits is some good shits anyways <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Jeez, I almost said shits twice. But <laughs> uh all right. Moving on to the one and only K Trinata. K -tri. Maybe we should group his. We can. Two. We could go we could do it by album. Yeah, we should. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, he's more known. There are similarities too as well, but uh, yes, yeah, so uh, first we'll hit 99.9%, which is the album title, uh, and the tracks we're going to hit off of it are Glowed Up, Weight Off, and Light Spots. Mm -hmm. So here are those now. And it still ain't a goddamn thing they could tell me What could compel me to jump in Get the piece of this bread pudding, wake up, cake up Walking in the form of my elders, I'm glowed up, glowed up Bitch, don't I look like a pharaoh? Fuck your story, tell nigga, pull up Shit didn't piss on your head, nigga, clockin' Grandma, check out the mail room, then back in Pop up, daddy Warbucks, like Warhol With an eight ball and a paintbrush I'm AWOL, I'm AWOL, but I ain't done Full-time killing, bad whole driller Child of the kidding, mellow yellow lemon I'm glowed up So yeah, that's uh, the three songs off 99.9%. .9%. 
first um, one. It's a yeah, classic. Glowed up. <laughs> it's a Definitely my Alex favorite. favorite for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Just because uh, from a production aspect on that one, no one may understand this. Some people Whee! understand it, but just the 808s, like what he did with the 808s on that is not what you do with the 808. So he took it, took the 808. Usually it's in mono, which is like you have... Usually you're in stereo sound, so you have two headphones on, right? You have left and right. Some of the sounds that you hear are only going to come from one side because you can move the sound in this, you know, theoretical space. No, my type. Uh, and uh, Theoretical. <laughs> yeah, and so, so usually 808, you know, is a real deep tone, so it's in mono. So it's just right dead in the in center, and it's not split between. But for this... It's in stereo, and then it's like pans hard left and right. So With you get, the synths and just right. So at the eight oh eights, you get like this this clean boominess that somehow doesn't just cancel Clash. itself out. Like you would think, like with the waves, mm -hmm. they should cancel themselves out. But the way I don't know, the way that it was done, it doesn't, and it just. Yeah, so you get this really clean sounding 808 that just is incredible yeah, at man. the same time. Incredible. I can't even talk, but yeah, it's incredible. On top of Anderson Pack, which will yeah. definitely be top end is killing the lyrics. Him. Yeah, he will get reviewed uh, for the hip hop one of these that we for do, sure. which will probably be the next one. But All right, maybe we should go country next one. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a funny guy. Funny guy. You know what I'm saying? Country glowed up, right? No. Anyways, uh, next song on that list. Yeah, glowed up is. And then the freaking music video for that. We're going back. Yeah, the music quick. video is nice Nuts. too. It's really weird. Yeah. And, you got Anderson mm. on a TV, but that's all I'm going to say. You got to go check it out. Um, right. Okay, Shoot, so yeah, Wait Off. Wait Off. That's with. Uh, let me see. Who's it? Bad, Bad, Not Good? Bad, Bad, Not Good. Just, yeah, what a name. First of all, but yeah, they're they're also nice. They also collabed with Daniel Caesar yeah, uh, for they Paradise. Collabed with that somebody song else is really song. nice. I can't freaking remember. So but. I don't know them personally, or I don't know them you know individually that well. But might have to definitely need to get on them. But, but yeah, just the the bass start right in with the bass, and then just. <laughs> Like just, yeah. it's, like, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but yeah, it's just a vibe. The whole song, just get the synths in the background. Yeah, yeah but you hear at the end yeah. of the the sample. Yeah, and it's just, uh, just honestly, just a vibe. I do feel like K. Trinali just puts out a lot of just vibes. Just definitely, they they hit hard, but then it's very like, well produced, but. You can, and then at the same time, it you know, it, it seems like it's repetitive, but just how clean it is, yeah, just, is makes it great. Right. Um, so then that one, and then the last one. Yeah, light spots. Light spots. Just, that's just him sampling the the snot out of things. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> the way that that comes in. Like, dang, just. What the frig? The That's guitar. only a taste. He, he goes through it. it just, yeah, and his just bass makes lines the are just crazy. Yeah. Just makes that groove where it's like, why did not play him K. Trinata in the freaking club? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? <laughs> I, w I wish, Put K. Trinata in I the wish. club. K club Trinata. Frig. Yeah, club let's K. Man, and let's put up a... Uh, a petition. What's it called? Yeah. yeah. Put him in the freaking like change. club. Change.org. We got to get a... Fucking change.org going. Fuck graduation. <laughs> Let me get a put Kater in clubs. <laughs> For real. K Club. Jeez. Come on. Make it happen. <laughs> Anyways. Uh yeah, yeah, so moving on to his newer newer works. Um Bubba. Bubba. <laughs> Bubba. So uh, the tracks that we're going to play are 10%, which is probably the most popular off of it. Just a banger. And then uh, Gray Area and uh, also Scared to Death. So mm -hmm. here are those.
Yeah. Yeah, so, so first <laughs> off, wow. I, it's one of my favorite albums of all time, low-key. And it's like, I know it just came out, but it's something about the album just, it was just a whole new sound to me. And mm-hmm. it just sort of, it was just like a new freaking path I could take in my music listening. And it was just, you know, just something I, you know, disco groove, just constant. It's just something I don't really typically listen to, but that's like I enjoyed that with K Trinata and especially with freaking 10%. Jeez, with uh, Kaliuchis or uh, Kaliuchis. Kaliuchis, <laughs> sorry. Um, wow. Jesus. I mean, who knows? It could be Kaylee. It's Kali. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Kaliuchi. That, that <laughs> song, just some brief backstory. I was trying to go a certain amount of time. Uh, without listening to music, you know, like a musical fast. Because, hmm. you know, they say, like, music sort of shapes how, what's your day, you know, like your mood or whatever. So I was going on a musical fast, and, you know, I had a lot of songs pop up in my head in that time being. In those couple days, yeah, it, it's tough. Mm-hmm. It's tough not listening to music. It, but um, just the first song that really made me want to come back was 10%. And I was just like... Mm. It was just like the song just hit, and she's just singing, and I, it's just I the sense in that song just like just re- real simple, real simple, and just bangs at the yeah. same time. Like the eight hundred eight is not as prominent, but it's still something that gets you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's yeah. like that song is just very I freak with it. And then going on to a gray area with McChinkins. Mm. Nice. Just, mm. Like the just the snare not being on a like boom. Cha boom. Cha. And then he just comes, (laughs) just real slow. But then he just like just what? (laughs) Like come on, like this old disco vibe. And it's just wow. And last song, freaking scared to death. Just a little repetitive, but still sort of like you waiting for something just. Just a nice vibe, yeah. right? And then when the the snippet that we played, doom, 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 it's like after all the the build up, and then just switch, and then right. switch again, right? And then I don't know, K Tronada is becoming one of my favorites, and just because like his album, like that groove, you know, you know, freaking, uh, not not trying to bring up any other, like. Artists, but like uh, Midnight Marauders from a tribe called Quest. Mm. Like the first album with that boom bat where everything is like 90 BPM and just. Right. Like uh, that same idea, but to like a disco, you know, type of feel is what I get from this K Trinata. Like stuff just, you can. I just want to let go free right. fun. And then goes into. Right. And just every <laughs> song is just a, a the freaking. Yeah. The whole project just, just comes together. Very cohesive. And that's why I think I freak with Bubba a lot. But I freak with K Trinata and 99.9% a lot. Just, For sure. They're both like neck and neck, but Bubba sort of, yeah, really solidified like Katrin I to me. So I freak with it. Shout out to Katri. But um, Alex, sorry, I sort of oh no, you're got good. Excited over, you it. Can- <laughs> you know, it was a good. Yeah. Album. I mean, because I told Alex yeah. like a while ago, like we gotta freaking talk about this album. And I'm, it's finally here, you know, months yeah. after. But yeah, spread the word. Listen to it, Katrinata. Yeah, going on to another goat. God. <laughs> yeah, finally saw him live. Actually, I did. <laughs> Kamari, I I did. Uh, yeah, I just had a lot just... of rail going on. So. Yeah, it's too bad. <laughs> Very upsetting. But try to get him to come, but you know, <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was coming for something. I didn't even say that. Anyways. You know what I'm saying? Not one and only, or the one and only. <laughs> the one and only, Mr. 
You go and say haywire. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> going freaking haywire on these freaking <laughs> songs. Christ. Do we even need to <laughs> How should how should we uh should we just play all three? Or I think he needs to get the single. Okay. The singles, single treatment. All right. All yeah. right, so we'll play the first one is uh called it's one of his newer songs it's called uh, Never Count on Me. Never count on me. It's getting hot in here. You. We gonna freaking count on you for for here. <laughs> yeah, for real. You say never count on me, but geez, for the bangers, got to count on all yeah, ten so. fingers. Eleven. <laughs> Christ, I can't. Yeah, that was about an eleven out of ten. Facts. Um, Haywire is just that's just too much to to tackle in that. Like he's got the vocals in there now, which he didn't always used to have. Right. Uh, so he's been working on that. So props, you know, just for doing that because he's trying to get to the point where he can just sing, like it can just be his voice. So he's using the vocoder in there, mm-hmm. you know, make it sound more robotic, which is fair enough. So you get that auto tune, but yeah, just that, uh, just hey, all the just... intricacies of how the beat, like the beat flows so nice, but yet everything is so everything is so separated. Yeah, at the and same time, it's like I feel like he's just he, he's like the. He's just a few. He's he does so well fusing everything together. Like he has the right. jazz type of sound, but then he has yeah. like a sort of elegant type of classical. Right, and but he then, is classically trained. So. Right, and, and that's but where then you, that eight oh eight comes in, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, oh. and then like beyond that, just all the sounds are so hand picked right. and like or hand crafted. crafted. Yeah, <laughs> literally a hand handcrafted crafted. song. Yeah. Haywire, ladies Never and gentlemen. Never craft on me. Never. <laughs> Please do, though. <laughs> Anyways, we'll, we'll just jump into the next one. This is uh, Kamari's favorite right now oh, from yeah. Haywire. Uh, this is called Square One. Uh, yeah, so it's wow, square one. Sheesh. That just, song just <laughs> That is a nasty synth sound too. Just that he might be the most talented, like mm. at what he's doing, yeah. And so just slept key, on. like pianist, jeez, it's sound like, designer. I just remember playing my parents that song. We were on a road trip, and they were like, my parents don't freaking listen to like, <laughs> like you know, old-fashioned. But even they were just like, hold on, wait a minute. This is sort of... <laughs> right, like just, yeah. It's like, you know, you're undefeated at this point. So it, that man is just way too much talent. Too oh, much. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, jumping all the way back to his roots might have been one of the first songs that I heard by him. Uh, and this one is called Insight.
Yep, yep. Jeez. I've had a lot of insight about Haywire and <sighs> That was the first insight. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah, so listen to that song all the way through. Got two drops, friggin' nasty. It's <laughs> it's like right, two quaps. <laughs> Yeah, he's you get a quip and then you get a quap. Quap. Yeah, he's yeah. definitely equipped with the quaps. Right. right, so so, jeez, just not. I mean, <laughs> don't even have to say anything to about say, that one either. Yeah, like it's he's just go freaking. Li- if any of the three, go listen to that one. Listen to some of his earlier stuff because you'll really see what we're talking about. Like how he came from all just instrumental or just strictly electronic, no voice or anything. But he's. He's using a lot of progressing and like morphing his sound very nicely as to where. Hmm? Sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. I'm gonna say another thing I like about Haywire is like you just show me that video. He does a lot of stuff live, and he's showing you just like yeah. You know, he actually is. uh, He's doing live uh, Twitch streams three times a week. Oh yeah. Now, yeah. uh, one of them is actually a, right one of them now. is actually a music review where you can submit your tracks and he'll do like a live review of them for those however long he's on. I think that's the Friday one, but like Wednesday Dang. is just him jamming, and then I think there's one Saturday as well. And he he's said going he's nuts. gonna do them indefinitely since we're in the situation we're in. So yeah. Anyways, uh, while he goes to subscribe. Uh, I'm going you to. Too. Oh, I already have. Obviously, um, the next person is uh, someone who I have told Kamari about. Kamari hasn't listened to a whole lot of his stuff, but um, he is familiar with a couple of the main songs. Uh, this person's name is Chrome Sparks. Uh, he goes back to geez, a couple of years ago, at least, where I was introduced to him. And just. His stuff is a pretty interesting take on electronic things, too. Just his way of producing and the sounds that he gets. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, the, So the first song is Marijuana, uh, which is a little bit older. Not too old. He has some, some tapes before that. Um, but play that one. And then right after that is going to be a song called Ultraviolet Rainbow, which is off his one of his newer EPs, not the most recent project but i think the second the most recent so uh yeah enjoy these and we'll be back in a sec Yeah, so that's uh, that's Chrome Sparks. So just marijuana right off the bat. Survive. So yeah, that <laughs> crazy. Just you, unless you're listening to that, unless you listen to that one in like a car with headphones, you really won't get the full effect because the 808 and like this the fuzz that it has on it in that song it like just so full. literally takes over yeah ev- all the space and then you just have these things scattered around you know in there yeah Whoa. so yeah that one's a, that one's a super vibe um and then ultraviolet rainbow honestly i just like that one because it's pretty catchy like the the melody yeah. that comes in but <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. I don't mind my shitty ass voice, but yeah. Just <laughs> it's nice and catchy and yeah, just the production on it is really clean and you can tell that, you know, he has made all of this stuff. You know, all the stuff that he produces, you can tell that that he's made it. He he definitely has his own uh, signature sound. So, yeah, not too much more on him. Um, definitely check him out, Chrome, Chrome Sparks. Sparks. Um, and moving on, uh, we'll get into another <laughs> one of our sleeper favorites. Uh, this is Tennyson. Um, we, should we take this one song by song? It's up to you. I think we might have to. Yeah. Uh, you got to. <laughs> All right. So first song is uh, classic uh, for us. It's called uh, "With You." Wow. <laughs> Tenny. Oh, Tenny. Oh, Tenny. <laughs> wow. He just, yeah. he just, I like how he uses all these common, but common sounds. I, w- I would say that they're not common sounds. Like, oh, yeah. There's like a, yeah, a water right. drop or a freaking. Right, like one of them, like here and there. Yeah, and it's just like. Oh. The way it's used makes it feel so uncommon, but then it's like... <laughs> it's true. But then when you're in like a groove part, you know, it's a lot of really common sounds. Right. You know? It's like, wow. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> just crazy production. Just very meticulous and just like... Sec- Super meticulous. Like sections and like the If that selection. song doesn't put you in a good mood, then... Uh, I don't know what would. Be, I'm, I'm telling you, like, it must be the dead little breaks. Right. All right, like, Dang, real bouncy. That one as well. Like, definitely listen in a car or headphones if you're not already. Right. Sheesh. Just. <laughs> different. It's unreal. Unreal. <laughs> Uh, so next song is a newer one. Uh, this one is called Tuesday. So, oh, jazz. Again, that one. Jeez. Build up. Nice build up into just the Smooth. vibe. Just super vibe. First time I heard that one, I was like, oh, I'm about oil oh, smooth. Oh, just oh, like you could fall asleep after that. Just honestly. Uh, but still, like, that first dreams. bass, it just puts you out. It's and like, then somebody's here oh. just. Ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba, ba-ba. Right. <laughs> keep you in it. Keep yeah. the, the tightness Ba-da-ba. of the groove. And you're like, okay, I'll, I'll stay up. Ba-da-ba. <laughs> yeah, Tenny. Yeah. Tenny's different. He, he is. He's like yeah, different, listen different. to all of his stuff. It gets some of it gets pretty abstract if right. you scan his page. So sort of like the next one. Uh <laughs> which is one of our favorites just right, for its what? complexity. And I don't know how because I've attempted to do something similar to this. Yeah, in the we past. tried to make that. I know. And uh yeah, wow. 
that just we'll explain after it plays but this song is called like what more cowbell for real (laughs) (laughs) oh slap shit but (laughs) just so weird but it works guys like mm. yeah so that isn't even the craziest part of the song you go should we even spoil bit. it? Don't even spoil it. Well, I won't spoil. I won't super spoil it. But later in the song, he does some really interesting sound design, and you just you just have to listen all the way through that one to to hear it. But and then it gets to this just yeah, nice groove. It's just yeah, nice groove. But it switches between like tracks. Oh, anyway, I like, won't go any further. What's gonna happen? That. Yeah, but uh, you'll see what we're talking about. So yeah, Tennyson. Check him out. If you want to really get introduced to his stuff, I would say check out Like What first. And you'd be like, yep. He'd be like, you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and he'd be like, <laughs> in your head. <laughs> yeah. And then you'd just be like, yeah. 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 Speaking of which, oh uh, our God. next artist uh, is. Uh, decap. Decap. Stop the cap. Is it decap? I wonder right. if it is decap. I used to like say decap. the cap. I just like, like saying like that. Anyways. Stop the cap. Decap. I, I, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> All right. That was weird. Door, door adjusting, <laughs> door adjusting <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm trying to tell yeah, them. Yeah, just play that at them. Yeah. I can go They'll away. Like, All right. Fine. I'll leave. <laughs> but, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> yeah. So next artist is decap. Uh, the f- yeah, each of <laughs> each of his songs need uh, need their own their own time. So uh, while Kamari recovers, um, <laughs> we're gonna play the song, and it's actually called "Yeah." <laughs> I'm sorry. Alec wants me to make so a certain yeah. reference to the snare, but that's all I'm gonna freaking say. Okay, yeah, it yeah. hits. It slaps. It it, it hits. slaps. It's worse than a slap. I'm though. not freaking Anyways. saying it. We uh, we left all our right, hyper sensitivity in the past. Freaking, I'll say it. That bitch. Hyper sensitivity. I'm gonna freaking say it. Freak. That, oh, oh, that oh, freaking oh. snare is a, a, a whip, and that uh, Indiana style. Like you just. Whip, whip. And just like that freaking, he you said, remember that TV said, from a couple volumes relic. back? <laughs> yeah, like. Give me the fucking relic. Right. So <laughs> that's how hard the. Yeah. yeah it, it just, a, yeah, that one, uh, that one will go in a future edit of like mountain biking or something. It's yeah, just so yeah, epic. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then the chop. Boom, boom. Yeah, just one, one 808 tone with a kick comes in. Jeez. <laughs> <clears throat> so again just super simple and it progresses really nicely and builds up and then it drops back into the vibe and then you know has a nice ending it's not a very long song but it it's yeah it's a vibe it's yeah 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 uh so the next song uh second song by him uh that we really like is uh called wake up and you will definitely wake, wake up, up after this so listen in
to wake you Good up. Good Lord. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you don't know what syncopation is, look that up too, because he had a lot of it there. Those snares at the end. Hey. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> just. Yeah, it's so like light and jumping at the same Bouncy. time. It just hits. It bangs. <laughs> just. Good God, I'm waking up. Christ. Yeah. Yeah, I'm waking I'm up, up. I'm up. yeah. You gotta wake up to pay attention to that song. Christ. Sheesh. So yeah, that's a glimpse of Decap. He's recently released uh like a group of three songs. Those are those one, are pretty two, hard to yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> so yeah. check those out. That's also fire. But um shout out to Decap. <laughs> shout out to Decap. His official <laughs> name. He is not cat. cat. Yeah. He is legit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, D-cat. so yeah, D Cap. Uh, he had a fun name to say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so next up on the list, second to last, uh, we have uh, Koan Sound. And if you thought it was pronounced Cone, you would be wrong because I was wrong in the beginning too. I was just uh, wrong till now. So yeah. Well, you anything. heard me say it before. Uh, I know, but I, I weren't listening. Sort of skeptical. Ah. Uh, uh, but yeah, Koan Sound. Uh, when I so when I had seen Haywire, uh, it was actually Haywire and Koan Sound That's that were thing. doing a joint tour. Steel. So it was like every other every other show they were switching off like positions. So like Koan Sound would go first, and then it would be Haywire, and then the opposite. Uh, Lucky for that time, it was Coan Sound and then Haywire, which I, I was sort of looking at the shows leading up. I was like, oh, it's going to, yes, Haywire is going to finish. You're right. <laughs> so got lucky in that respect. Um, but they both had equally long sets, um, so it was really good. But, yeah, they are, uh, so this is a duo. Actually, we forgot to, to say, so Tennyson is actually a duo. Yep. Yeah. Um, Everyone else is a uh, solo artist, um, yeah, but Tennyson was a duo, and uh, Coan Sound is a duo. Um, so they make some quite interesting stuff, uh, to be honest. One of them, I think, is a percussionist, and then the other is more of a, uh, oh, like a piano it. player. Because oh, okay. when they performed, uh, the one was on like a drum pad, and the other was more on the synths and stuff like gotcha. that, so... Anyways, uh, you want to hit these separate or separate? All right. Yeah. <laughs> so first one is uh, probably my favorite song off uh, their most recent album uh, called Polychrome. And uh, this is called Hydroplane. Yeah, so that's Hydroplane. Quite welcome, a long song, actually. And welcome to a new dimension. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, funny enough, they have a song called Dimension. That's also a good one. Or Seventh Dimension, I think. Yeah, which is pretty much where they're at. Uh, yeah. Hopefully not the eighth, though. <laughs> yeah, there. I can't go into the eighth <laughs> dimension. That's too far. Yeah. That is too far. The- I'll take a seven any day over an eight. Um, so, not that I'd like to take the seven either, but it's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah, Hydroplane, very upbeat, um, interesting, like, blend of almost, like, dubstep and, like, techno, and there's a lot of influence in there. Yeah. Um, but if again, want, yeah, the sound design is really where. If you want to know what thirty twenty is, like the year thirty twenty, <laughs> listen to this. Probably, song, yeah, yeah, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, just listen to them in general. It's yeah, pretty. They they got you. <laughs> They're gonna take you to the future. So, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so that's that one. Uh, and the next one is uh, Kamari's favorite song by them, uh, which is called Sly Fox. So, Sly Fox. Sly Fox. Just the beginning of nasty bass. Yeah, but I just really like the beginning where it just comes in. Because mm. when I first heard that song, I was like, oh, "This is really nice." Like, ding, 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 yeah. and then it just. Yeah. <laughs> just suck your brain out. Yeah. And yeah. After so. that, I freaking, I became an infant. <laughs> it sent me to the future, but I was a child of the future. Because <laughs> you had much to learn. Right. So, I think I became yeah. a fox after that. So yeah, They were definitely sly with it. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, so. they, to end it on a futuristic note, yeah, I mean, yeah, as far as. You know, like actually playing music, be yeah, that, that really they're in that realm of just it's too complex to to really. It really is, yeah. But yeah, shout out yeah, to so if you're, Cohen for sure. Uh, Cohen, if you're so. really interested in sound design, they that is a lot of what they do. The songs, not even music, just sounds. May seem repetitive, but you just gotta really listen. And just accept and embrace like the sounds that they're actually making because right. it's pretty hard to do. You would think that you could come with a sound like that, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, you got to sit there and fiddle with shit for hours right, <laughs> to like. get something like that. So, um, yeah. So to round it out, we've arrived at the last person, and, and uh, yeah, that is Taku. And um not really gonna put anything because we've already <laughs> Yeah, so he's the the intro and the outro uh songs to to the podcast that you've you know all heard plenty of times by now and especially um, that last time where it was like the contagious disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a Kamari special, if yeah. if you didn't know. Uh yeah. it's like <laughs> contagious and heat. <laughs> But uh, anyways, yeah. no, he didn't do that. You would never do that. That was yes. Yeah. You can sounds. hear the differences uh, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Anyways. Subtle. It was subtle, bud. Yeah, Taku um, got to yeah. shout him out last because you're gonna hear him last. So yeah, he's uh, he's got a lot of stuff on Spotify. Uh, not not the the tracks that we are super familiar with though, which are uh, actually. I I think that they're all still available on YouTube, if I'm, if I'm oh, not wrong. Um, but they are, uh, so he has a series, there's five of them, series of mixtapes that are all like 30 to 45 minutes. And it's all, it's like a constant mix, almost as if it was a live show. Uh, and it's called Drive Slow, Homie. And there's parts one through five. Uh, so check those out definitely check those out he's got some you know songs that you'll recognize just really songs that you and, won't yeah, yeah some oldies it's just really good stuff so shout out to taku yeah and on another note just wrapping things up you know if you want to send us more music like this in this genre feel free to email us or hit us in the dms something you yeah. know we're, we're trying to open open up to a lot of stuff especially as you can tell after you know what we sort of listen to just on this genre so if you have any more <laughs> right. type of you know songs like this or within this genre or just anything email us at hypersanity at gmail.com and shoot we'll definitely review talk about it but for sure yeah well we'll do a poll maybe a little bit earlier 
before the next one mm -hmm. in the genre, try and get some some people in the genre to listen to, you mm -hmm. know, besides our picks. And uh, yeah, we'll mess yeah. around with the time. Maybe we'll keep a little bit shorter. Maybe do a couple less people. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, maybe, hopefully everyone. Uh? Sorry, maybe less or more people, but less like individual tracks. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. that person. So that way we cover a sort of wider, wider range. Anyways, this is planning. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <sighs> but, uh, yeah, I guess with that, hopefully everyone enjoyed. Um, hopefully you have, you know, found some new people that you'd be interested in listening to, uh, because they're definitely solid, uh, artists on our list. And, um, yeah, we don't know what we're going to do for the next podcast. Could be a normal one. Could be another music one. We'll just have to keep you guessing. But, uh, yeah, until the next time, stay hyper-tuned.